Hi, welcome to Street Solar Life. Uh, I hope uh, you have seen our last videos, a uh, couple of videos related to the solar panel and other technologies as well. Um, you have got some information about how to size the panels, how to select the panels for the locations. Uh, we want you to understand the solar panels, the performance is purely based upon the locations where you are going to mount. That's the longitude and latitude as well as the, you have to see the weather conditions and you have to see the panels perfect. Uh, uh, performance I mean the sense or characteristics you have to see that um, so today we are going to see the solar panel logo installation locations will be uh, it's in uh, nearby Sri Kasi Vishwanatha temple it's located in Varanasi and the state will be the in uh, state will be Uttar Pradesh country will be the India uh, I hope uh, you don't know the location so one of the famous location uh, I think um, so we, we have taken that location as a calculation so uh, so assume if we have the so home or commercials to that location so what we are saying on this video that could be the calculations okay so we have taken all the minimum loads uh, here we have not taken any kind of uh, higher rate things uh, uh, like AZ, Gazer or inductions or any other motor or any other uh, heating applications uh, uh, any other um, appliances as well kind of washing machine, refrigerator etc so we have not uh, considered those things uh, we just taken the minimum loads and we are calculating so based upon the panel characteristics and we have considered the grade one panel polycrystalline and then um, we have uh, uh, collected all the pre historic data for the weather conditions for that location for the particular locations uh, so we want you to be sure uh, this uh, uh, ratings will be only for that location if you are moving uh, this location to somewhere else uh, uh, so you are going to uh, losing uh, some readings uh, so these calculations is only for that locations if you are ch uh, changing to some other uh, district or so far from these locations obviously there will be impact on the panel readings so, so here uh, the location has said it's a Varanasi and uh, the exact locations will be uh, the latitude and longitude will be 25.31 and 83.01 so that will be the exact locations and uh, we have uh, we have uh, taken all the design criteria into the account uh, uh, to uh, calculate of the perfect readings. Uh, we are also guiding so many companies as well as uh, uh, many teams related to the solar and uh, our team of experts had uh, many experience in the global projects. Uh, so based on the experience we are calculating so all the readings and we have uh, taken all the weather conditions uh, for last couple of year and then we are sizing the panel for that location so now we are going to see the what will be the loads we have considered here yeah here we have considered 25 hours load 4 number 8 hours running per day 10 hours load 12 numbers or 6 hours running per day 100 hours loads 4 numbers 12 hours running per day 100 hours load 1 number 12 hours running per day 50 hours load 1 number 8 hours running per day so all these loads running for the 100% of duty cycles so according to these calculations, uh, so uh, we have sized all the uh, calculations based on the systems. Uh, uh, so uh, we even we have considered all the lasers through these uh, panels. We consider the dust, aging factors, a lot of corrections on these panels. Uh, assume if you have the thousands watts or 500 watts, uh, that's not going to be generated uh, as a electricity unit. So, okay. So a lot of calculations are there beyond that system, so which is going to be designed. So. Uh, if I think uh, many of uh, people uh, have already installed the solar system, you are not sure what readings you are going to get and how many units you are generating early. Uh, if you have more doubts about that, you can put an email to streetsolarlife at gmail.com as well as uh, many of the uh, systems of people so working on the panels so to installing the many um, sectors. Uh, you may have uh, a uh, lot of clarifications required uh, like uh, you're not sure if you are not sure what reading is going to get and all probably you can approach us uh, by putting email to sri solar life at gmail.com so according to these calculations uh, based on these loads uh, it's required uh, 2886 units per year for the entire year so if you're running these loads uh, these are the units you are going to utilize that uh, so to generate these units uh, you need to size the panels uh, so as I said before, we have considered all the losses of the panel and the climatic conditions as well. So you have to put the panels perfect degrees. Uh, and then uh, you have to see the shear temperature too. We have not considered here the shear temperatures. We have considered except the shear temperatures. 
and rest of the things you could ever take care of, uh, about during the installation so i hope uh, many people will be uh, keeping the very top of the um, roof or something so so i don't think so you may have a lot of shacks so. so you still if you have concern about shed temperatures or any other design criteria if you're more concerned about that probably you can approach us so. so according to this calculation to generate uh, this many units uh, you need to put uh, 4200 panels of polycrystalline so um, panel for this location so uh, there are there are a lot of changes on this weather for particular locations so. okay so here we have calculated all the losses here so when you go and install uh, this kind of rating or this location so these are the units so you are going to generate uh, from these locations so again I'm not telling you uh, the panel designs is purely based upon uh, you have, we have a concern here that you create on panels uh, you have to look into the systems so or the panels what you are going to buy and how it looks like and once you select the, the panels so on top of that you have to see, see the weather conditions climatic conditions lot of things are there so if you talk about the entire system design there are a lot of characteristics you have to evaluate a lot of engineering designs is required so basically 50 to 60 characters you have to see and then you have to go for the cable sizing blah blah and um, inverters and backups so how we are going to uh, select the system so so those things is there uh, so we want you to be clear uh, the system is purely based upon the locations and a lot of design criteria it means uh, it doesn't uh, matter like uh, if you are planning like uh, it doesn't mean if you can go with the uh, go with, go ahead with the kilowatt or kva if you put this many i'm going to get uh, this many readings so that's not the correct one so that's what we are trying that's what we are trying to explain here uh, as well as uh, we have considered the dust also here the dust loss also we have considered here it means uh, you don't have to clean the panels in a day or a week uh, probably you can't do here uh, do the uh, cleaning of the panels for once in a three or six months that will be more than sufficient so, uh, I hope uh, all the so information has been covered on this video related to the panels locations uh, uh, for this location and uh, when you talk about the like if you want to store the energy which you are generating from this panel if you want to store it to the battery uh, you have to size you have to size the battery accordingly you have to see the DOD store temperature energy factors lot of things you have to see that you have to select the lead acid and the tall tubular to make the cost cuttings as well uh, you have to see all uh, the cutoff level of the battery so if you are if you are generating more power if you are discharging so very high or very low so there will be fluctuations on the battery lifespan uh, if you are charging more power or if you are charging some watts and you are discharging the power is more frequently if you are discharging the uh, power from the through the batteries uh, uh, so a lot of uh, cyclings will happen so that uh, the, that will have more impact on the battery lifespan so, so here uh, if you are planning for the uh, backup for the number of days so that we call us here the autonomy if you are planning for the day autonomy you can go ahead with the total number of batteries if you are increasing the autonomy you can put a multiple of batteries so by putting a series in parallel to achieve the autonomy so i hope uh, all the information has been covered on this video if you have any concerns or any doubts uh, uh, if you are planning for any solar systems uh, probably you can approach us uh, you can clarify a lot of things with us uh, by putting email to 3solarlife at gmail.com Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.